they did a really cool research study and they looked at the size of the deep muscle here called the longus coli. And that's the muscle that most people are trying to strengthen with deep cervical flexors. And they looked at the size based off of uh, MRIs and they compared it to the degree of slippage in spondylolisthesis for individuals who are getting ready to have a surgery for a fusion for the area. And basically they showed that there was a connection, okay? And uh, so the cool thing is that we show in that, hey, there's some sort of relationship between, say this was a C5 level um, and the size of the muscle at that, that region too. So the thought is, is that, well, we can try to continue to strengthen these. Is that the cause of that slippage or is it an effect? We don't really know the answer with that, but you can try to do that first and see if you can get your patients better. Make sure they feel it deep here.